Hey, my friend, Kenny Chapman here, the Blue Collar Coach, coming to you with a quick message about ways to be phenomenal in customer service. Now, this is something we talk about all the time. It's one of the drums that we beat nonstop at Blue Collar with our clients, with our own service companies. But, you know, sometimes we need to kind of circle back to things that we need to remember. <clears throat> here we're coming out of shoulder season for a lot of people in the uh, in the U.S. and Canada anyway, and, and here we're like, okay, so things start getting busy. What happens? Well, now it's critical that we do a few things that are just probably going to be reminders to you, but I want to, I want you to think about those. Okay, the first thing is contact. you got to stay in contact with your clients. One of the challenges, we get busy. We run across clients that have, you know, thousands of service agreements that they haven't serviced. They haven't even gone to their member visits because they're too busy or this or that, but yet they're preaching customer service to their team, to their techs and all those types of things. That's a little bit of a stretch. And when that client does need service, they're going to go, wait a minute, where have they been? Why haven't I heard from them? If they're not a service agreement client. It's, it's the critical importance of um, you know, our newsletters and, and staying in touch, whether it's dropping a postcard here, some email campaign stuff, different, different things like that. Okay. So that's number one, you got to stay in touch. Number two, make sure you're, you're deriving feedback. Okay. This isn't about just like, Oh yeah, we have a customer service department. If somebody calls in and wants to say something, then we tell them, you know, no, this is about calling them after each call, checking in. How did the tech do? It's not about policing for your technicians. Please help them understand but realize that you're driving for reviews because that's a great pivot point. If the technician didn't get the review, now um, a CSR, customer service manager, whoever's doing the, the happy call back to the clients going, okay, so Kenny did everything the way you wanted in the home. He did a phenomenal job. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it'd be great if you could go online and then we transition into working that. Three, you got to stay organized as a company. People, you know, we, we try to get our technicians to be organized and keep trucks organized. And then we walk into our offices and it looks like a bomb went off and there's chaos everywhere. And that, and that affects everything, my friends, as leaders, that affects you, it affects your direct reports, it affects your entire team, it affects your clients, ultimately. So work on organization because that absolutely drives efficiency, okay? Ne next thing I want to mention is consistency. We all have these ups and downs, and we know that it's, you know, this is not the easiest business that, from, a, from a standpoint that you got to be on every day. Your frontline team is the representative, is the brand, is the messenger, messenger, messenger of your message, right? So we need consistency from them. That's why we need the importance of a, of a, of a phenomenal customer value delivery system, whatever you want to call it. We've got the 12-step um, ultimate client experience service call that we work with um, and train our clients. But regardless of what, are, what, what process, what platform you're following, you've got to have something, make it yours, and then keep it consistent. Last and certainly not least, this is critical all the way across the board, it's establishing your clients' wants and needs. That's one of the things we teach our technicians. Don't make decisions for your clients. Don't make decisions that you would maybe make based on who you are, what you want, what you need and desire, because yours are different than theirs. And do people invest more on what they want or what they need? Well... At the time I'm shooting this, um, Apple's doing a new launch for their, their phone that you can spend as much money as you want on this little phone that, that uh, looks like a computer, acts like a computer, is a computer, whatever the case might be. But nobody needs that watch. And they're going to sell hundreds of millions of them. People spend more on what they want than what they need. They invest more the same way. Focus on these five key points, my friend, and continue to embrace blowing the roof off of your results. Until we talk again, I'm Kenny Chapman, the Blue Collar Coach. Have a better than fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.